Hey, they're strolling in here, and they think that this is theirs. Let's show this is our field and our game right now. Let's go. Line six on two, one, two, line. As it is time for midterms across the campus of Knox, time management is of the utmost importance for the football program. Balancing a rigorous academic course load along with playing football can be a challenging task, but for some, balancing both is a common trend as they are dual sport athletes for the Prairie Fire. Yeah, it was just one of those things where I didn't want to give up playing baseball or football, and Knox is a wonderful place to where I can continue playing both for four more years and then I move on. And, you know, like I said, I didn't want to give it up yet. I think it, one, helps me become the best, like, athlete I can be. But secondly, give me kind of different feel and perspective about being on different types of teams rather than always just around one group. I get to experience working with different types of people in two different complete genres that have complete different personalities because the football guys have one personality, but then the indoor-outdoor track team has its own aura and personality that you don't necessarily get to experience by being a one sport athlete because you're more than likely going to just have this one specific thing that you're all accustomed to and attached to. I guess the benefit for me is just being able to play the game, both games that I love, and being able to get a great education here at Knox as well. And so, like I said, I wasn't ready to say goodbye to either game, and I knew that I, could, I had the opportunity to play in college, and so I really tried to find schools that were going to allow me to play both. And uh, I guess that's the benefit for me. I, keep, I get to do what I love every single day. And doing what they love has brought plenty of benefits throughout their career. It's helped me because, I mean, obviously I'm getting faster, getting stronger. Um, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more mobile, not for sure. But um, it's also helped just with the fact that my time management, because I go from football to classes, back to football in the evenings, and then track is the exact same way, so it's not like I have an off time. I'm always on the go, have homework, stuff like that, so that kind of helps me time manage. And it's just another team, so it's helping with my uh, teamwork skills, just communication skills, stuff like that. But it also really helps you become a better athlete in a sense and increase your coordination and skill sets across a variety of different venues and even later along in life by having these different perspectives and ideas and just abilities not only developed through physical activity but just the camaraderie and different aspects that you experience and may not get to experience in other places it really pushes you to reach that next step in your life and developmental stage it's a lot of hard work overall and I don't think it's something that a, a regular student at Knox would be able to do. And that's what I think separates us from the regular students. I think it's a wonderful thing for us to be able to do both, uh, play sports and go to school here. Being a college student athlete is something only 7% of high school athletes have the opportunity to do. So it certainly comes with many challenges along the way. Working with the other, like your second team, when you're in season on a different sport, such as during track season, that generally is when spring ball's going on and they're starting to implement and install stuff for football. So having to accustom my schedule to fit in and work with the coaches and figuring out exactly the things that I may be missing because I'm not with that group at the time and vice versa, anything going on during football season that the track team may be happening, I need to make sure I stay on top and aware of what's going on and what might be changing. I would say the biggest challenge would be just finding time to do work, because, I mean, obviously I put academics first, but sports is a very close second. So it's trying to find that time in between sports and school to just have a little time to relax myself, my body, uh, my brain, stuff like that. So that's probably the biggest challenge for me. Obviously playing football, you're your day consists of mostly football, except for 
that time when you have classes. So, but baseball is a little different. When you're playing baseball, you're playing games during the week as well. So you got to make sure you're on top of your homework and you got to be really focused during the school and during class because there's a lot of time where you're um, traveling for baseball or playing baseball. And so a lot of those midday or those day games, those week games are not that far of a travel, but it's still takes away time that you could be studying or doing homework. However, those challenges only bring these athletes closer to one another, making them well-rounded individuals. I think the biggest thing for me is I wouldn't have been able to develop those friendships that I made in high school or here. Um, I would, it would be really tough for me, I think. Look where, where I'm at now, I couldn't imagine myself not playing football or baseball. And that is something that makes me extremely happy about is being able to play those two sports here. Sports kind of pushes me to excel in school. And had I not done, if I had I only done football, that off season, I feel like I'd kind of slack off a little bit probably not stay in shape as much. We'd have our mandatory lifting and stuff like that, but I don't think I would try and do anything extra. As far as just personally, I don't think I'd be as like well-rounded as an athlete on the front of the things I specifically work on in track as far as speed and everything that is focused on there. I wouldn't be able to transition that here. And at the same time, I wouldn't have had the experiences of meeting new people and just broadening my whole horizon with everyone else and getting to know more people. It would have been more so me more than likely just sticking with one team rather than getting to know a lot more people than I possibly could have if I only stuck to one sport. I'm happy because I'm all the friends that I've made and all the experiences that I've gained. I've been to a lot of different schools. I've met a lot of different people and all the people that I have, like I'll know them for the rest of my life and they'll be, I'll have connections with those people for so long and uh, they've been some of my greatest friends and I'll never forget that. Each of these four dual sport athletes are starters on both of their squads and will play a large role for the football team in Saturday's matchup with Grinnell. to Grinnell we go and the Prairie Fire were ready to go from the start. Early in the first quarter Chris Scott rushes through and blocks the punt takes it all the way to the house knocks up early 7-0. Later in the first quarter Mike Sapolsky fights his way into the backfield and drops the quarterback setting up this Jacob Morrow to Grant Graham touchdown toss knocks up 14 at the end of one. In the second quarter last play before the half Amaro drops back and the pop pass to Shutter sends the fire to the break up 21. Third quarter action, Grinnell trying to climb back in. They find the end zone for six, cut the lead to 14, but the fire defense would hold strong. The Rao brothers team up for a pair of big hits, and the fire add another score to put it away in the fourth. Braden Westfall finds pay to her to end the fire. Come away victorious, 28 to seven. After the win, the Prairie Fire turned their attention to homecoming weekend as they play host to Illinois College. Kickoff is scheduled for 1 o'clock.
Next week on Hard Knocks, we take a look at the history of Knox football, plus highlights from the homecoming matchup with Illinois College. We will see you next week on Hard Knocks.